New details this afternoon, a horrific hit and run crash on Alligator Alley sent eight people to the hospital. Florida Highway Patrol says one of the victims, a nine-year-old girl died at the hospital and the drivers who fled the scene have been arrested. CBS 4's Ted Scowan is live outside Broward General Hospital in Fort Lauderdale with the details, Ted. Yeah, Maribel, what we understand is those two drivers who are accused of leaving the scene of the accident, uh, we understand they are here at Broward Health right now. So is the mother of that nine-year-old girl who died. She was pronounced dead here at Broward Health early this morning. This afternoon, investigators are still trying to piece this whole thing together. A horrific deadly crash on Alligator Alley, claiming the life of a nine-year-old girl. She was in the Chevy Blazer that flipped over several times, along with her mom and five others. They were on their way to Bradenton from Fort Lauderdale, according to the Florida Highway Patrol. Investigators say the trouble began around 3.30, initially with two cars that were near this Blazer. Two vehicles that they were traveling, probably a high rate of speed, we're looking into that. Uh, one of them collided uh, with uh, the second vehicle, and that vehicle was pushed into the Chevy Blazer. That collision caused the Blazer to overturn several times. Traffic was shut down in both directions for hours. Troopers tell us part of the reason why traffic was stopped is because they had to find the people who were driving the cars. Investigators say they took off. Both drivers that uh, caused the crash, that we're looking into it, uh, fled on foot and were later apprehended by BSO canine units. There are conflicting reports on how many people are involved. One report says eight, another indicates nine. We're told there were several children in the blazer from 7 to 18 years old. So here's where it stands right now. A total of four people were sent here to Broward Health Medical Center. Either four or five were sent over to the Cleveland Clinic in Weston. Investigators are still trying to piece this whole thing together and still trying to figure out what charges will be filed. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.